NBA preview special. Jalen Rose. What up, Dell? There are some things that are cause for concern in the world. Mm -hmm. We call these things red flags. <laughs> are you going there? <laughs> So you're going to explain an event that is happening in and around the NBA. You're going to ask me if it is a red flag. I am ready. Go. This time last year, Carmelo Anthony was a member of the Oklahoma City Thug. Mm hmm And a member of the media, in his estimation, had the nerve to allude to the fact that he may come off the bench. And it was such sarcasm. Take a listen. How do you feel about the concept of starting at the four or even coming off the bench? And the second question is... Who, me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I, I guess that answers that part. I, I mean, I don't know where that started, where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pete, they said I got to come off the bench. <laughs> is that a red flag in Houston that he may not start and or finish games? You see how he just laughed at that? And it Hoodie Melo so was alive. Preposterous. It was just so preposterous that he would come off the bench. Him coming off the bench in Houston, not a red flag. And let me explain why. Jalen Rose, you taught me this. Winning is the best deodorant. When you're winning games, it doesn't matter how many minutes you get. I mean, it does, but it matters less how many minutes you get and how many points you score. <laughs> I think Carmelo Anthony is going to be so happy to be truly contending for a championship that... It is not a red flag that he'll be coming off the bat. All right, I got another one for you. What's that? The Los Angeles Lakers mm -hmm. acquired LeBron James this offseason. Yeah, they did. Best player in the league. Yep. They have a great young core. Yep. Do you know what else they did? What? Signed a lot of vets to one-year deals. Yes, Let me they name did. some of them for you. Rajon yep. Rondo, JaVale yep. McGee, yep. Michael Beasley. Yep. And one of your favorites. Lance, Lance Stevenson. Look at him right there. Is this a red flag? Red flag in road. L.A.? The fact that they have four veterans all on one-year deals that all expect minutes, that's a red flag. <laughs> that's a red flag. I think this red flag isn't even big enough for those players. Because here's what's not going to happen. Not everyone's going to be happy. Because mm. there's going to be some of those players, whether it's Beasley or whether it's Lance, they're going to expect to play more minutes. And there's going to be players like Josh Hart and Kyle Kuzma and Brandon Ingram that are going to be playing in front of them. Because we all remember what happened last time Lance was in Los Angeles. Do you remember that? We do. He got traded. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't playing that much. He no, wasn't he was that not. happy. He was not. There's going to be some unhappy Rondo when Ball gets back and Ball's going to be finishing games and Rondo's going to be on the bench and they're going to lose at the end of the game and Rondo's going to be pouting. This is a red flag. Mm. And all these players want to perform because they're on one-year deals. These are contract years for these players. And they're not going to be in the game. They're going to be upset. Interesting. I got another one for you. Let's stay in the West Coast. The Minnesota Timberwolves. Mm. They re-signed Carl Anthony Towns. Yes, they did. Came on maximum deal. Yes. They also in previous year, gave Wiggins a max deal. Yes. Guess who else doesn't want a max deal from them? Jimmy Butler. James Butler. He didn't want one from Chicago either. No. Is it a red flag at all for his next team that his, un his last two situations ended unceremoniously? Huge red flag. Mm. Huge red flag that Jimmy Butler, mm. just like, it seems like, remember there's two regimes in Chicago in which he was unhappy. Like, people forget about that. Not only did he leave Chicago unhappy, and now he's leaving Minnesota unhappy, he was unhappy twice in Chicago previously with the same head coach. Tom Thibodeau is flying to Los Angeles and he's being told, I want to trade. And then Tibbs is like, mm, no, I'll, I can convince some guys. Mm. Then he tried again to convince him, and Jimmy Butler just wants out. Whoever acquires Jimmy Butler is not just acquiring a great basketball player. They could be acquiring a difficult personality, which is what makes this mm. another red flag. Next one. So, Boban and Tobias Harris. Bobby and Toby. They're in your lane. What? They're going to have a reality show. They have a reality show. Is this a red flag? It's out on YouTube. It's way overproduced and scripted <laughs> and fake. I can't believe I spent as much time as I did watching it. You know why this isn't a red flag, Jalen Rose? That? No one cares about the Clippers this year. Do you remember the Clippers' core, how they were going to win a championship? They had Chris Paul and Blake and DeAndre Jordan. How many of those players are on the Clippers now? Uh, none. Would you say that they are going to go to the playoffs this year? Uh, no. So their expectations are so low that no one cares about their reality show. That's basically the best thing that the Clippers are going to produce this year, that reality show. Let's go to the Golden State Warriors. When people stick a microphone in front of Clay Thompson and talk about his free agency, he says he wants to be in shut Golden State a long time. Shut it, shut it down real quick. Same with Steph Curry. Yep. But guess what KD? 
didn't do? Commit. Mm-mm. Is that a red flag? Huge red flag. Mm. Huge red flag. And this is something mm. you saw just wow. today. Wow. Kyrie Irving is like, I love Boston. I plan on staying here for a long time. I plan on playing here for a long time. And you know, without signing a contract, he kills the conversation. KD does nothing to kill the conversation. Last year, he was a free agent, but we didn't talk about him leaving, whether or not he was going to leave. And here's what I could see happening this year. Mm-mm. I could easily see the Warriors winning three straight. Yep. Three peat parade championship and i could see kevin durant looking himself in the mirror and saying i did it i did it the monkey is off my back i am one of the few players to ever wear jerry west logo on their chest and win three straight championships i'm a legend i'm a hall of famer i'm the best to play right now i'm gonna go start my own team and he's going to leave if they win the championship i think kevin durant leaves the leaves the Golden State Warriors. He could easily shut this all down just by kill the conversation. He hasn't done that. But you know all. what else, too? If they win, the guys won't be upset at him for bouncing. No. Because at some point, everybody in Golden State is going to want to get paid. They can't pay everybody. And if we just won three straight and you came almost as a missionary, the Last brothers would be cool with it. You know getting paid? To keep getting them checks. Guys, there's a list of players that you aren't even sure are in the league. They're still in the league, and they're cashing those checks. Direct deposit, most likely. Let's take a look at the keep getting them checks players this season. Okay. Jalen Rose, Dirk and Whiskey, keep getting them checks. Captain Dirk. And you know what's great about it? All of the photos, the major ones, he was in them. Yep. Like he's going to be out there 35 minutes. Yep. He's an assistant coach. He's Dirt, assistant coach. Before you know it, is going to be standing on the sideline of a Dallas Cowboys game wearing shoulder pads. Next, Tony Parker. Keep getting them checks, Tony Parker. No question. Manu retired. Tim Duncan's retired. Tony's like, I'm still getting the checks. Traded Kawhi. Yeah, yeah. Still getting the like, checks. I'm in the league. They Next, took my starting spot. Vince Carter in Atlanta for the Hawks. Keep getting the checks, Vince. He like, wait a minute. What's our record going to be projected? He like, I'm still playing. Yeah, yep. Next, Pau Gasol. Still in the NBA. Ooh, still starting. in my window. Pow! Oh. Keep getting them checks. And finally, Zach Randolph. Keep getting them checks. That's the homie. Z-Bo. z It's like, whether I'm in Memphis, whether I'm in Sacramento, wherever I am, they're going to pay me to play basketball. Thank you so much for watching Thank you. the 2018 NBA preview. Thank Don't you. Don't forget to subscribe to the Jalen and Jacoby podcast. Thank anywhere you. Anywhere you listen to podcasts. You're far too kind.